Hey, what's up, guys? It's Rockstead, and welcome back to Reckless Remastered. So, I'm back with my very first gaming video, and I'm kind of doing this in a way to um, prove to my six-year-old self that I can still do very, very simple games. Welcome to Zoo Tycoon 2. So, for those of you that don't know what Zoo Tycoon 2 is, or which what Zoo Tycoon, bleh, Zoo Tycoon is in general, it's basically where any normal tycoon game you go into the game and you basically build something and you manage it so in this case it's a zoo and we have to make sure all the guests are accommodated for all the animals are accommodated for you have to build things you get the point so i'm in challenge mode so what you see right here is a challenge so uh this is our first challenge and this is like another way that we can earn money. So this one says, Migration Motors, an automobile manufacturer needs a photo to accompany their new advertising slogan. Our cars run like gazelle, like a gazelle. If you can provide them with a photo of a Thompson's gazelle running around, Migration Motors will pay you 1,500. So this one's very easy and I'm going to do this challenge, I hope. So what we first have to do so my zoo is closed right now, and I also started off. With my, I started myself off with five hundred and seven thousand dollars because I was too lazy to actually like go back to the five hundred. So I am on a city zoo large. Uh, this is my map. Um, <clears throat> so basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to fill up every single part of this with animals and all that kind of stuff. Now it's kind of hard to make money in this game because like you have so much staff and all that so it is very hard to do well in this game um also if these black bars right here they're there for me too um just because it's like an older game it's not really meant for this type of resolution um even though it's on 1920 by 1080 it this is the best it's gonna get so we need a thompson's gazelle i don't have one of those so let me decline this all right, so here's a Thompson's Gazelle. So let's play. And we'll wait for this to spawn. I guess not really spawn, but become available for adoption. Uh, this is in challenge mode. You don't actually get access to all the animals. You actually have to wait for like the animals. Um, so over here is the, well, if you click on an animal and then you click the zookeeper icon, where did my mouse go? You pop up what, works for these kind of animals so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a path and i'm going to wrap it around here usually i would usually play this in freeform mode just because it's unlimited money but i decided to challenge myself even though i've never actually beat the challenge mode and i always end up running out of money but it's fine okay that's a little weird hold up there we go. Oh, nope, that did not make that any better. <laughs> okay, that, that'll that work. So let's come back here. Let's pause. Just to make sure we don't run out of time. So this is going to be our first animal down here. Um, I'll just put like a statue or something in there. So we want to make it a pretty decent size. So like that should be about good. And now we want to put these gates in for the zookeepers. So I usually will put two of them right here on the sidewalk. And then this is also where I will put donation boxes. So next thing we need, <coughs> sorry guys, my voice is like really raspy, um, is a biome. So uh, gazelles don't live in a grassland. So we actually have to go over to the biome and uh, like place it down. But you can come over here into the biome modification. And you can also like add trees and stuff like that if you wanted to. Oops. Okay, well, there's trees in there now. So, a lot of the stuff I've already like unlocked. Just by playing different modes. Because usually you would only have this, I believe. Um, actually, I don't really know how that works. But, I don't know. So then I'm just going to put two of both down here. And then there's no animal enrichment items. So usually you want to have like one of those. And then you want a male and a female animal. So that way they can reproduce and make more. So that way 
as you grow, you can actually release animals into the wild and sell them or get them adopted. Ah, crap, that's not what I wanted uh, to get money. So here's our first animal down. And now we're going to play. We're going to come down here. And so you can actually go into first person mode, which is actually something I really like about this game. Uh, p close. Please close. Thank you. <laughs> t bruh. Close. Thank you. Okay, I needed to be in this mode. Um, Alright, well they need to be running around. Right? That's what I needed to do? Uh, Thompson? Kazelle running around. Okay, maybe we won't get that one just because, you know, they need to be running. Uh, can you guys run around? Alright. Well, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to put down another animal. So, usually I like to put, like, the sea animals in the back just so it's more organized. I do like to be pretty organized with my zoos. Um... Now, I used to be a bomb-ass zoo tycoon player when I was, like, six. Because I think this was, like, one of the very first computer games I really got invested to. Or invested into. And I want to, like, see if I still have what it takes, which I doubt I do. Also, I have every expansion pack to this game. I bought on Amazon for, like, 20 bucks, I believe. So, and that was including all four expansions. So, it was really worth the money. Because... This game wasn't cheap back then, but, like, now it's probably, like, 12 years old. I don't even know. No. 2006 is a lot more than 12 years ago. Anyway, you guys understand my point. So, they're still not running around. I'm going to delete these just because I won't be able to put down, like, any enclosures if they're down here. So, what do I have here? I can put this in this little thing right here. That'll do it. Um, and let's put some benches too. Why not? There we go. And then two trash cans. Boom. Alright, so we have a little entryway. And now it is time to do like small little entranceway. That's a research base. I don't need that. Uh, this would be something else for like the extinct... Uh, stuff for dinosaurs because this one you can go around here like you can go into like this mode and go around your park and look for fossils which is actually pretty cool and this is like if your dinosaur escapes oops I didn't want to do that okay so we need some bathrooms so let's put some bathrooms here and here and hmm See, we don't really have much just because, like, we're just starting out. But like, as we grow in fame, we will get more. So I guess this will just be, like, our bathroom area. That's fine. So I'll put in one of these guys. Or at least, or two of these, sorry. Uh, okay, that's a little bit bigger, but it's okay. So then let's put doors down. So this is a desert and not savanna, but like, whatever. It's the same difference. So we can put like savanna and scrub and desert and stuff over here probably. That's probably what's going to happen. So let's get a shelter in here. I'm going to research this because I think it's good for animals to have nourishment items like that. And let's get some hay down. Like I said, I, I like to do two... I did this wrong. Hold up. Let me put this there. There we go. And then we'll put the water over here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Put that there. And that's going to be done here in a second. Ooh, one thing I forgot. I also like to put um, water in the biomes or in the enclosures just because like, it's easier for them to not get so unhappy because like if they get too dirty they'll get like upset all right so there's that nope i said here all right scratching post is completed 
let's just get some trees in here. Make it look a little less empty. Then give them a scratching post, and then a male, and a female. So, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be tundra, right? Because, no, you're grassland. What? Okay, sure. Um, really? This is the only fencing I have for you? Alright, whatever. That's fine. I'll change it up later. So, by, uh, what are you? Bison? Bisons are a little bit bigger, so I'll give them a little bit bigger of a pen. They're already in a grassland, but they need some of this. And then give them one of these. Actually, I'll give them one of these. Oh, that doesn't fit in there either. Okay, that will work, but it's kind of dumb. Alright, so we'll just put that over there. Give them some blueberries. Do four of these. And we'll do two of those. And I'll give them a carrot for an enrichment item. I mean, that would be kind of cool. So I guess we can research that. That's fine. Uh, bison? Yeah. Alright, so let's get a couple of these down in here. Alright, there we go. So we grew in frame. So now new objects are available for purchase. So I think as soon as I finish this, yeah, I think this is going to be a little small, but it's okay. I'm actually, I'll give them the dinosaur leaf, so that's fine. Sure, why not? And then to put the water things over here. Enrichment objects, give them one of these. Okay, how's your space needs? Okay, you're fine. Good to know. And then we can go see what is available. I mean, we can kind of probably see a little bit. These are like viewing things, which I will probably put down. Where did the gates go? Here and here. Here and here. Now I need a zookeeper. Okay. Oh, I need to also give them like a water place. So let's put it right in the middle. So why not? Wooden slat fence. So as you can see we already have like new fences and everything like that. And we should have new animals. So there's a Styrosaurus? I don't know. And we have a Gemsbok. So like we're already getting new animals. And then over here we have archways and fountains and stuff like that. So this is the one I wanted, but since this one's going to the tundra, I think I'll put this one down here. So my goal in this episode is to get to like two stars maybe, and then if you guys want more, we can definitely do more of this. Uh, I should probably research this one too. God damn it. Okay, so let's just get these down here. I'm only going to do two. Because it is a smaller area. And now I want that elephant fountain. And we're going to put this right here. Kind of get the audience entertained here. And then I want to come here. Grassland. Do grass here. Alright, so let me put... A low fence over on this side again. Alright. And now I'm still going to give them water. Say, no, I said d deep water. Why can't I? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't let me hurt there for a little bit. So they usually like deep water so they can swim, and then I'll give them like a little platform. Now food, give them like a little lure buoy. Then I will also give them something down in there. Then I'm also going to give them a food dish. That, no animal enrichment items. And this is their only form of shelter. So actually I'm going to give them more of a deeper area then. 
Ah, oh, crap. Like that. And they have that area. Move this over. That way everything's not so crowded. Alright. There we go. So now let's get some penguins in here. One thing I also don't like about this game is that there's only a play pause button. So that you can't fast forward time or anything like that. So you just kind of have to like chill here. So I mean it's whatever but still. So okay maybe I should just get like some normal viewing canopies. Uh, should definitely get something for kids to play on as well. Um, so I'm going to put down some more ATMs. In front of there. Then I don't have the gift shop yet, so I'm going to just put a gift cart, like, here. And then do a gift cart, like, here. So they're kind of just, like, all up in your face. God, I'm surprised none of our animals have complained about space yet. Ooh, we have flamingos now. That's cool. So I haven't had, like, flamingos yet. Like, in any of my games on here. Like, recently. I'm sure I had flamingos at some point, but... Like, when I was first playing it. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. There. Right there. Um... We'll do like an entertainer stage. Over here. And then another gift cart. Sweet. Guests love my zoo. Alright, and then we'll put a hot dog stand. And a pop stand. Like that. Actually, uh, no, that's fine. I mean, they should be able to get through there. That's fine. And now I need garbage cans. And recycling bins. Okay. Do some tables. I also need to enter or hire a entertainer. Dinosaur entertainer. Saber tooth cat entertainer. We'll do a saber tooth cat. Okay. So what is this? Okay, so that should be there. That's fine. Okay. So this is the overview so far. We only have one grassland animal over here. And we have another like little bathroom area over here with an entertainer on it. And then I will also put like one back here as well. Since in this area I think it's going to be my marine animals. Um, ooh, you have a very small little enclosure here. I guarantee they're going to complain about space. No? Alright. So, it's going to be one back here. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make my show tank now. So that way I can plan everything around it. So, just hello, thank you. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a like triangular show stage, maybe? No. Alright, I'm just gonna do like a normal one. Rectangular oval thing. Alright, so this is going to be the show stage. Okay, listen. You guys have way too many. Okay, so... which, What are you? Are you a girl? No, you're a male. Female. Female. But you... Alright. So we'll release you into the wild. And then... That way, you guys will have some more room. 
So now there's four of you in here. Instead of just three. Anyway. So that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It is the first gaming video up on this channel. Um, like I said, there are still going to be gaming videos up. Just not going to be as often as the other channel. Probably like twice a week. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. It means the world to me to know you guys enjoy my content. And if you do enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button down below. It means the world to me to know you guys want to stick around. So, if you guys want more episodes of Zoo Tycoon, let me know. I have a blast with this game. It gives me real nostalgia. Um, and yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll see you shadows later. Peace out.